don't know if we've spoken today. It is another school day, so we got Sebastian off to the bus. Jack's headed out to meet his friends. Ziggy did not want to go a different way as I tried to. He refused to walk, so I went on the opposite side of the street from them until I could convince him to turn off. So hopefully that was okay. I, it's kind of fun walking at that time of day because the middle schoolers are everywhere and usually they're fun. But after that, what did I do? Oh, it's hard to figure out the order of the things I've done today. But I have been working on illustrations. I just stopped to read about the updates that I've got on my watch and my phone to try and figure out what's new because I don't really pay attention to these things till they're here and yeah it's almost time to go out to the bus I've got about 20 minutes so I need to go out there Danny's been back and forth about the car just trying to get it sold as soon as possible so whatever payment we get clears even though we have money and savings that we could take out, I think from two different places to match the amount that we get from the car. So he technically could continue with what he wants to do, which is fly up on Thursday. But he's hoping that it clears so he doesn't have to do that. Cause that's just, I mean, it's scary to move that amount of money around. So he was hoping to go to a local dealer and I was going to drive my car and he was going to drive his and we drive back but the things that they required to sell it went all out of order and would have made things take even longer so he is going with Carvana but they don't have any times where they could come and pick it up till Thursday so he's going to have to drive it to Maryland and he's going to leave in a few minutes, I think. I don't know if he's waiting till bus stop time or if he's going before that, but he's going to do that and then take the metro and an Uber. The metro will eventually go to our town. He would still need an Uber or a pickup from the station because we don't live by the station. But yeah, it's not open yet because because DC Metro. But <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have a long commute, but he knew better than to ask me to try and drive there. Plus, the kids have to get home. So we would have to wait till after that. So yeah, this is this is really the only solution we can do. So he's got that ahead of him. He has taken the final things out of the car. I just took my phone now, dialed up all that was in it. I guess my little ride around the block in the rain to find Jack. So it's my last time driving that car. And next time I drive in my car, it will be the white one with this orange stripes and orange brakes or something and orange stitching inside. <laughs> I mean, I like unique, so we're gonna go with that. And we're gonna give it a fun name. But guess I've never named my cards. I just need to make myself look good. <sighs> so I'm a little stressed. Can't drive anywhere anymore unless I want to try to drive a car that I don't know how to drive, and that just terrifies me. So, no. <laughs> Probably will be the weekend when I drive next. But what's worst is. I'll be alone with the kids with Danny out of town without a car that I'm comfortable driving, so that's tricky. Anyway, I don't know if there's anything going on tonight. Yeah, Danny's just doing this, and then tomorrow during the day he's gonna go out to our credit union, which he, we, I got, be a part of that credit union because my dad my dad's job is an astrophysicist so it's a local credit union out in Maryland but 
I am a part of it because I joined it when I was just before 18, I think. And now we use them for all the things like the car loans and stuff because they're just great. So he has to drive all the way out there though when he needs like a check or something, but they are working with him and he's having to get like papers overnighted from the place where we're buying the car from and they're sending the wrong thing and now they have to send the right thing but it would have caused a day delay and just the digital copy is going to work for them so that's great so he doesn't have to delay that so I'll do that tomorrow and then tomorrow evening we've got to go to the middle school for parents night and I think we're going to walk through the whole schedule and it's a whole two hour thing so I've got a neighbor that's gonna babysit because that's a bit much. Jax could do it, but it's a bit much. I need to leave somebody on call. And I guess that's my updates. It's not very exciting. I've just been wanting to do this illustration and not physical painting right now. We'll see about later, but I'm just so stressed. Sometimes it's difficult to do painting. And it's a really big painting where I have to keep my arm up real high. A little extra shaky. So I don't know. Oh, I just got a Be My Eyes call, which is fun. My last one was when we were in Wrightsville Beach, our little last minute August getaway. It was actually, I think, dark out, and I thought it had to be daylight to get a call, but I got a call at that time. It was a visually impaired woman who was staying in a like a hotel, the kind that has a kitchenette, and she needed help reading her pizza box instructions and also turning on the oven, which was interesting because we had to figure out how the oven worked. But yeah, I hadn't had one since then. I was just thinking recently, oh, I haven't had to be my eyes. I'm really lucky and I get them so often, like once a month. But I got my September call. Uh, it was just now and it was just reading a handwritten note I guess there's apps that this man usually uses but when it's ballpoint pen it doesn't pick it up and this was ballpoint pen so I read the note to him and he felt like he really needed to sit, tell me what the setting was on his app that he always uses that usually can read everything so I did have to wait a moment while he went and checked that to let me know but I loved listening I could hear his voiceover the Apple voiceover to it was telling him about the new updates in the app like a million times while he was trying to find the dang okay button. I was like, come on people, work on your accessibility. Or it's annoying at times just being a normally sighted person and all those pop-ups that happen when an app updates. But yeah, anyway, that was fun. I loved that. I love helping. And my little co-worker, whenever I am drawing, he pops his little booty right there snores, runs in his sleep. So cute. Yeah, I'm just going to waste 15 minutes till I need to go to the bus stop and get Sebastian and start the homework drama.
coat to dry before I put the clear coat on. Dinner should be here any minute. It's kind of late. It's a minute till seven. So it's gonna be dinner or bedtime right after dinner. But we couldn't really get our act together because Jax didn't want much. Eventually we just ordered what he wanted because he's the hard one. Leave on the floor. Anyway, I picked up phone because there's been a change of plans. We have back to school night tomorrow and even though Jax does babysit Sebastian sometimes, he hasn't done three hours. And this is, yeah, it's a lot. So I was gonna have him watch Sebastian for a while till my neighbor got home and then, and my neighbor were going to, well, he was going to bring Sebastian to the neighbor's house and Sebastian was so excited to play with a grown-up he hasn't played with since the pandemic. Very, very excited. Confirmed with her this afternoon. She, she doesn't have her phone at work because of her contract, but when she got home, she confirmed it. But then I just got another message and she's like, you need plan B. I thought my allergies were acting up today. She tested positive for COVID. Well, I feel so terrible for her. And at the same time, I've got that, wow, that was a really close call feeling again, which we've had a few times since this all started where we were so close to seeing somebody. So we're of course offering to do anything she needs. I don't have a car anymore, but Danny's still here. And I can walk to some things. But I'm sorry, I'm walking like a crazy person here. <sighs> but yeah, so it looks like we are going to just go ahead and pay ba pay Jax to babysit. I was about to say pay babysit to Jax. <laughs> pay Jax to babysit the full time and our neighbor is going to be on call via text for all emergency advice or any advice at all. Her boyfriend will be checking in on her, so we'll have somebody who could come in. I mean, masks as well are a thing, and 95s are a thing. But yeah, I guess he gets a big old babysit. We'll have to figure out how much to pay him. He is in debt because we let him get platoon early and now he wants to save up for fall guys battle pass or something i don't know anyway i'm gonna top coat these i'll show you what i do and then dinner should be here All that noise. Get in here. Get in here. There you go, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, have a good night, man. Be good now. Yeah. This, this yeah. to mama and dad there. <laughs> All right, buddy. Take care. Take care. I've got to get things ready for bed, so excuse me while I just set you on the counter. But it's just one of those nights, it's getting late. I decided last minute to order a Lego set for Sebastian. I can't go and get one tomorrow because car is gone. Not mine anymore. But I'm just gonna make use of our Walmart account. I do have to tip, but I'm just paying tip, nothing else. Uh, sorry if I go out of frame, but 
Yeah, I needed to get to $35 and I was only willing to buy him a $19.95 set. So we added a pack of chips and I added the avocado that I keep trying to get, like mashed avocado that I keep not having. So I don't think I'll get that, but it counted towards my total. But then also I asked my neighbor if she needed anything and she had me put some Gatorade and milk on there, but she said she can't taste anything. It's such a bummer already. But yeah, if they let you add on to your order for a while, I think I have like, what is this? <laughs> Nine more hours to add to it. Dinner was good except for the fact that Danny didn't get to eat any of it because he has eosinophilic esophagitis, which is like an aller allergic reaction in your esophagus that makes it scar up and swell and close up and food can get stuck and he had that happen. And he did get it out, which was lucky, but now he just feels all out of sorts. And even though he was really hungry because he didn't really eat all day, which he likes to do, he just can't eat yet. So hopefully he can. Cause yeah, that's not good. I was, my stomach's kind of all in a tizzy because I was stressing out for him. Sorry for all this allergy medicine. We're all suffering. It's hay fever time right now, ragweed. You know, I don't need to open this one yet. Why am I doing that? I still have a few. I did buy some today when I took Sebastian out on a walk and we went to the coffee shop and I didn't remember to film anything until after we'd already eaten it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's our drama filled night. It's just been a nothing but a drama. But yeah, that's it. I need to go back to when I get Sebastian since I've gotten all these bedtime things laid out and get it toothbrush and stuff. Sorry, you just have the best view and I'm sure the audio is amazing. Okay, we can go together to put these in Jax's bathroom. That's his allergy, medicine and vitamins. Get the bedroom, we're biting both bedrooms because he changes in his old room. We keep the nightlight on in case he comes through at night, but he actually... Uh, heart's breaking but I said you can always come and snuggle with us in bed as long as you're not sick because <laughs> he was doing it up until he got that cold and he's like you know what I don't think I need to anymore I can stay in my bed <laughs> okay buddy you're a big boy but oh my heart I love snuggling him but he is he's actually not in a rush to get his own furniture. He loves this guest bed. It's so big and it has this foam topper that's really soft and squishy. He does want his Lego set up and this takes up too much of the room. There's like hardly any room. So there's that, but yeah, he loves this bed. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna say goodnight. He's down there building with Legos cause I let him, just cause he's been real sad since he found out he couldn't play with our neighbor, but it's all he's been talking about, but yeah. Good night, friends. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.